You got 20%. Okay, uh, Dave. Here, you start with your resurf pipe there. I okay. just switch positions. Right here is where the circulator pump is. And like I said, below it, at any point in time, you always need to install this bypass tee. Um, it's always going to be a one inch bypass tee. Do not go any smaller than that. Um, That's one inch now. Yes, one inch. one inch. So it's inch and a quarter by one inch tee here. And then you'll see it comes up through and then there's a special fitting. It's a, a one inch by one inch by half inch, half inch well. It's a threaded female iron there. pipe well. And then it'll go back into the boiler. So how this is operating is it runs off a of gravity flow. The water comes up, comes over, and down back into the boiler 24 seven. What that's doing is it's equalizing the boiler temperature. So it, it isn't so hot up here and so cold down here when the water rushes in from the upstairs. Um, this control here is called a 4006B. And when this comes into play is in the summertime, um, mostly uh, with overheating. Um, when the boiler reaches a temperature of 220 degrees, this will engage the circulator and uh, put it out to a dump zone to cool the boiler. Okay, we don't really, we don't have it wired up right now. No, all, all it is is you run a thermostat wire from here to TT on the triple aquastat. Okay. There, it's a low voltage system. It keeps the boiler from overheating during summertime use. Okay. And it would kick on a recirc pump? Yes. It'll okay. kick on the recirculating pump and it will pump the water into a dump zone. Um, you know, for instance, this is a single zone, so it'll go into the house. Um, some people have two zones where they'll wire it into a, you know, the second floor that, you know, isn't so right. hot in the first what, floor. What we recommend a lot of times people will set up, and most people nowadays have zones in their house, maybe two, three, four zones, depending on how big the house is. You can put in a dump zone, and that could be the garage. Uh, so, because here's what's going to happen. Your boiler's gonna get hot in warm weather, not cold weather. And to dump that heat back into the house is just gonna make it even hotter on a hot day. So if you pick an area that you can dump the heat off so the boiler doesn't overheat, that isn't gonna cause the house to get uncomfortable. Uh, that works better. And the garage is an easy way to dump it off. And uh, in the wintertime, you can even set it so you keep your garage a certain temperature too.